What is going on, everybody? It is the Phantom Michael bringing you the next episode, episode number 14 of the Pokemon Scarlet and Violet Warlock Challenge. Of course, I'm joined with the one, the only, Midnight Wolf. Hello, and yeah, welcome. All right. Midnight, if you did not watch the last episode, Midnight gave me the hands. So you got to go check that out. Uh, on this episode, we're going to do a little bit of grinding, and then we're going to tank on Dawn Fan. So this might actually be a 30-minute episode for once. I know, yeah. you know, depending on how we edit some of these episodes, they might be a little long, but uh, this one's definitely probably going to be around the 30-minute mark. So, uh, yeah. Midnight, are you ready to fly just north of us? I am ready to do a quick detour. Let's do it. Oh, oh, you got a detour, huh? I got a detour. Uh-oh. Well, I've got, a set, I've got a set up for us. I've got a set mm. up for Chanceys. I've got a set up the money-making scheme. That's right, that's right. I wonder what, uh, has the shop opened up any new items? Hmm. Potentially one or two, but I don't think there is a great deal of stuff. Hmm. That unlocks before post-game now. That is unfortunate. All right, we are, we are playing along here. On the uh, last episode, we did talk a lot about theories about other games about a lot of stuff um you know what uh let, let's let's just kind of go from like a general thing here midnight like uh when uh when you played kanto for the what was the first time you experienced can the kanto region what was the first um, game my first one was uh fire red okay i uh, uh yeah what was your starter pokemon uh, my very original starter was Bulbasaur. Okay. Wow. Um, yeah, the very original one. And it kind of didn't really remain my starter mm -hmm. because I, um, my Pidgeot was the highest level Pokemon on my team. <laughs> kind of like your Star Raptor is now. Yeah. They, yeah, uh, I, mean... I, uh, I had the fortunate enough to, uh, live in a community or in a small area that had other kids that were my age, or right around my right, age. Yeah. So um, I, I had a friend come over, and he had Pokemon f red or blue at the time. And yeah. uh, he was just a little older than me, but I remember we sat up, and we were probably up until 1 or 2 o'clock in the morning as he was trying to catch a Snorlax, trying to do all these other things. Yeah. And, uh and then I finally got the game, and I got Pokemon Blue, and I played it on an original Game Boy. Yeah. And it was awesome. Um, I uh, played Blue. Obviously, you know, when you're a kid, you just button mash a lot, you know? So yeah. uh, I button mashed a whole lot until uh, I got, a, got the opportunity to get Pokemon Ruby. was probably, like, the first full playthrough I did, but even then I did not beat the Elite Four. Could, could never beat so, the Elite Four. I have an embarrassing story about oh, Pokemon Ruby. Go ahead. Um, <laughs> so Pokemon Ruby, I got the game, and um, I think it was actually my very first Pokemon game. Mm -hmm. And <laughs> I got past Petalburg Woods mm -hmm. um, up to where... Um, just before the bridge, and my mind did not register the fact that there was a bridge there, and I was just like, I'm at a dead end. Like, what do, what do I do? How do I, no how do I deal with this? And I ended up with, like, a level 25 Grovile, because I was like, well, I wonder if you just need to train up so many levels. But no, it's just, like, completely... <laughs> You walk under just, the bridge. <laughs> yeah, I just didn't walk on the bridge. Oh, that's I just so didn't, funny. didn't even clock it, and it was just like, oh my god. When did you figure that out, that you just walk underneath the bridge? Um, Probably a good good couple of months later. I think I'd, wow. I'd given up on it, and I then got Sapphire, um, and I figured it out in Sapphire. Um, that's so funny. But yeah, no, it, that is my embarrassing Pokemon moment. I, uh... So we, uh, like I said, I had, I, I was fortunate enough to live in a neighborhood that had kids that all were the same age, all into the same things. You know, we got into yeah. the, the Pokemon and then we got into the Yu-Gi-Oh and then we got into Star Wars and we were playing with, uh, lightsabers, you know? Yeah. Um, but like the Pokemon stuff was always cool, you know? Uh, 
playing the original games and I watched them play Crystal and then when Pokemon Ruby came out, everybody had Ruby and Sapphire and it was so much fun. Um, yeah. So, you know, I didn't I didn't really get a chance to go completely through Johto um, mm. until much later, but I definitely remember watching more of the Johto anime. So I, I really yes. love the Johto region. Like, Johto is so awesome to me. Um, probably yeah. my favorite region, if I if I were to say that. Um, but uh, having that uh, experience to play it later was great. But um, you know, I did. Uh, I had I have all the games now. But I had blue, then I got red. Um, I had red for the longest time, and then I got yellow and uh, yeah. beat the brakes off of Pokemon Yellow, and then of course Ruby. But once I got Pokemon Diamond and Pearl. I, I knew from that day on, I was like, okay, yeah, this is this is awesome to, you know, trying to, to get Munchlax off the honey tree to yeah. uh, beating the whole game. Um, me and my cousin both got the games at the same time, so we did that thing where he restarts over and over again until we each yeah. had one, each had all three of the starters, so that was mm. super fun. Um, so just beating the brakes off that game was awesome. Um, and then I didn't get a chance to play Black and White or um, X and Y until way, way later. Yeah, I kind I skipped Black and White, and then I played Black Black Two mm -hmm. quite a while after it came out. And I w originally wasn't going to get X and Y, and it took me about a kind of month or mm -hmm. so to buy it. So I yeah, I kind of fell out of Pokemon mm -hmm. sort of during the Gen Five era. Yep. And then Gen 6, I kind of got into it. That's when I started to get into competitive. Mm -hmm. um, and then Gen 7, kind of that's where... I suppose that's when I made my... No, that was... Yeah, just before Gen 7 came out was when I made my channel. Wow. So, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I did not make my channel until way, way, way later. Um, yeah. I think the the first ever posting of any videos I'd ever done in my life was in high school when you, when I was in high school YouTube had just came out like when I was a uh, freshman in high school. Yeah. So uh, that was like world changing for everybody. Yeah. But um you know you you get to when you grew up with the internet like we did you kind of get to see a lot of things. Mm. Huh, I think I'm going to be fighting this for a long time. My Pokemon is not quite up to par to take out Chansey's in one hit. Or Blissey's in one hit. Hmm. What was your... Uh, did I ever tell you my our first uh, run-in with a shiny Pokemon? No. All right, so I'll tell you this funny, funny, funny story. So, uh, like I said, me and my cousin both got Diamond and Pearl, um, and we were playing that. And so I'd go over, and, over to his house like every week or so. Yeah. And uh, on the weekend, I'd just stay at his house, and we would play. We'd play video games and stuff, but we'd play Pokemon once the DS came out because a whole bunch of really fun games came out, like Dragon Quest Nine and a whole bunch of other stuff. Yeah. So we'd play Diamond and Pearl. And, uh, I would go over and he would have, like, different, different through the story, right? Like, he beat the Elite Four well before I did because he played, he was older than me, so he yeah. knew, like, all the tricks, right? Like, he got an Alakazam and swept the Elite Four almost immediately, yeah. right? Yeah. When we were playing Ruby and Sapphire, he got a Zangoose and swept the whole game immediately. <laughs> And uh, that's I, I, that might be where my love of Zangoose comes from, mm. but um, anyway, so I uh, I go to bed, and then I wake up the next morning. And he goes, "Hey, look what I found!" And then he shows me a yellow Shinx, right? Oh wow! And I was like, "What is that?" Right? Like, what the hell yeah, yeah. is that? Could not believe it because you know. The internet had not really been a fully established thing yet. There, yeah, there wasn't a yeah, whole bunch of stuff. Yeah. You know, they um, if you had a home computer, 
you know, the, the chance of you using it without your parents, you know, was, was very slim. I definitely did not have a home computer that I could just hop on at any time. And if you did, it took forever to look at anything. And this is like yeah, 2004, like right? Era. So, yeah. <laughs> and uh, anyway, so, or, or am I wrong? Yeah, about 2004, maybe 2004, 2006. So, anyway, so, uh, shiny shinks, right? He's like, yeah, and then you throw it out and all these stars come out and everything else. And it was it was crazy, right? Yeah. And uh, so he uh, he trades me that Shinx, right? Yeah. And me not knowing about it, I've already, like, lost it. I have no idea where that Shinx is at or where yeah. it will ever be, you know what I mean? But um, it was uh, it was really cool to have that because shortly after, like a couple months later, you know, uh, another one of my friends comes over to my house he because this is what we used to do you ready for this so me and my cousin would play and then uh my other friends one day showed up at my house out of nowhere right yeah. they're like did you know you could trade pokemon with people on the other side of the world and i'm like what are you talking about dude <laughs> and that's when like the global trading thing came out and wi-fi yeah you would have home wi-fi but again like having a home computer was completely up to your parents you know what i mean so, yeah. um, anyway, we, uh, we would like go to Subway or we'd go somewhere else that had the free Wi-Fi, and we'd connect to the Wi-Fi yeah. and like trade our Pokemon on there to see what we would get. Mm. And, uh, that was really fun. And then a couple months after that, my friend shows up with a action replay. You know what that is? Yes. Yeah. The funny thing is I still have that action replay. I don't think it works. I haven't tried it since like 2005. Um, I think I still have an action replay somewhere. But uh, he was like, look, you can get infinite rare candies. You can get infinite this. You can do all this stuff, right? Which was mind-blowing at the time. And, yeah. uh, you know, we were doing like, oh, put in this code and you'll get Entei. Put in this code, you'll get Raikou. Yeah. Do this and you'll get a shiny Pokemon of some sort. And it was, cr you know, back then you don't think about like, ginning pokemon you don't think about the illegal yeah. stuff you're just a kid right yeah. you're like oh this is crazy this is so much wherever your parents took you and w you know we were fortunate enough that um my friend had an older brother who was uh who just started driving at the time me and him were like right, 13 yeah. and he was like 16 so he's driving and we're going to like you know like i said subway or like we're walking around the block and we're connecting to people's wi-fi because back then people didn't put wi-fi passwords on yeah. And uh, you're just hopping into people's Wi-Fi and you're you're like out in the because we were like sit out in the ditch of their, their house, man. And we'd connect to their Wi-Fi and like we'd <laughs> we'd battle online or trade online on the, the global trade spot it was crazy. Um, but uh, it was fun. And then uh, I had one day um, I had another family and this is might have been like years later. Right. And uh, my uh, family friend. He's a little. He was a little younger than me at the time, and he's like, "Yeah, I got this." And like, he showed me his all his Pokemon because we were trying to complete the Pokedex. You know what I mean? And even yeah. with having an action replay, even have the global trade, you know, the the chances of you completing like the the Pokedex was still rough because you still needed to trade mm. the Virgin exclusives and all that. Yeah, yeah. But um, anyway, we uh, I, I grab his his uh, system. We start looking, and he had a shiny Charizard on there. <laughs> and I was like, how did you get this shiny Charizard? And yeah. he said, oh, I was playing my other game, and I got it when I started the game. It was orange. And yeah. I was like, wow. what? He's like, yeah, I, I just started the game, and it was orange. So he started a, started a file of Fire Red and got a shiny Charmander. And traded it all the way up. I could not believe it. I, I could yeah. not believe it. It was that, like, that to me was so crazy. But, uh, you know, that's, uh, that's Pokemon, you know what I mean? So. Yeah, yeah. No, I was... think my first shinies were in Gen 4. Yep. Um, I, uh, nope, never. My very. Hmm? What was your very first? The very first shiny I got was a Graveler that self-destructed, mm. um, which was unfortunate, big time unfortunate. You almost made me spit um, my drink out. That was that's crazy. 
but the same day I got a shiny Zubat in um so I know I got the Graveler on Iron Island mm -hmm. and I got the Zubat in the the um kind of Spirit Tower mm -hmm. just south of Slation. See, I have never ran into wild shiny Pokemon until uh the Switch games. Hmm. Yeah, I think they they were some of the only few that I had. Um, I've had a few on emulator. Nice. Um, Gen 7 was where I started to see more shinies. Alright, I got my last Pokemon that I need to evolve evolved. Nice. I'm, I'm ready to go whenever. Okay. Let me check. We got time yep let's go ahead and i can uh depending oh, on like okay the, uh, oh yeah you've seen that huh yeah that's uh, okay oh, actually, no, i just need to do my items really quickly yep i feel like this one might be another clean sweep for us Time to go take on a Titan, which to be fair, this shouldn't mm -hmm. take very long with the teams that we've got. No. Um, no, it I'm should not. You in first. You'll just be able to blitz it. Right. And with this one, I think we get. Is it Glide or Climb? Go. Ah! I can't remember. I think it's Glide oh, first. Oh, wow. <laughs> An awful one just kind of spawned out of the ground <laughs> as I appeared. That's crazy. That, Is it a shiny uh, Orthworm? No, unfortunately that, not. That would have been awesome. Where are you? Titan. There you are. Zoom. And there we go. I do want to heal first. I do love that these are going to look completely different on our games as well. Mm -hmm. Word on fall. I, uh, I'm missing... I, I need the each shiny paradox of that Pokemon. And I'll have a full elephant team. I might have two. Oh my goodness. I got a, I got a bunch of shinies. You let me know what you need. I might. I'm not 100% sure. I forgot. We just got to... One day we just got to look at our shiny doubles that we can uh, yeah. trade. Yeah. Oh, you're telling me that didn't take... It. That, that, that's like one HP from it being taken out. One thing I'm upset with is that the... Uh, the ginning now makes you the uh, character, the Pokemon owner. Right, yeah. I don't yeah. like that. You can't really identify it necessarily. Right, so I have to be like, really like, remember. So I try to nickname most of my shinies when I get them. Yeah. But, uh, I, uh... What the hell did I just run? Oh, a sand dial. Oversight. I really should have added a, a sand dial to my, my team. I considered a sand dial, but there just wasn't enough space. <gasps> Let's go. Started eating something, and here comes Arvin. Mm. Oh, you already knocked him out? Yeah, yeah, I'm, uh, I'm Cheese I'm and there. rice. 
Oh, that's right. You have like a level 300 star raptor. Um, it's only level 89. No, eight. Might be 89. I've now got a level 70 something Dundons fast as well. Oh, well, that'll do it. I love that a critical hit literally just did like All right. 30 yeah, damage. Where'd you go, buddy, old friend, old pal? Oh, next hit, it will be gone. The Quaking Earth Titan. Oh, man. He is going to say bye-bye. Yeah, how come Groudon can't be that big? <laughs> well, I know why. To be fair, it probably in real life would be. Mm -hmm. they, uh, I, the, the clear reason, I think, is because who would ever believe, right, that a, uh, you know, you, you have a level 50 Groudon, and it's huge, right? Yeah. And you, then you have, like, a level 50 Vileplume, and then the Vileplume <laughs> uses, uh, what, freaking, uh, Giga Drain, Drain or something, and, like, does massive damage to this thing. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, people be like, ah, there ain't no way in hell that little flower took out that gigantic monster. Yeah. So, I get, I get why that they, you know, they scaled him back a little bit. Yeah. But, uh, shows how effective type type effectiveness really is. Yeah. Yeah, you know when a, a leaf can knock out um, a giant rock snake? Yeah, then we got a problem. <laughs> I really wish that uh, Onyx was in this game. Onyx and Steelix look so awesome in uh, um, Sword and Shield. Yeah. Yeah, I'm surprised that because they've been in most iterations. Yep. Alright, I have knocked out the Quaking Earth Titan. Round one or round two? Uh two. Nice. Yep. It's the sour herba mystica. Mm-hmm. I love that I'm currently walking around in flip flops. <laughs> in the desert. I mean, yeah. it's fitting, I guess. You don't have to think the desert and the beach are the same thing. Uh, I suppose, yeah. There's some deserts that, you know, come right up to the beach. So, is the whole thing just the beach? True. True. What differentiates them? I've been watching a, uh, he just started posting, like, uh, he's, he calls himself the Pokemon conservationist. Right. And his partner in Pokemon's a Palpitoad. And, okay. uh, he does, yeah. like, uh, oh, Pokemon facts, Pokemon this, what the, like, Pokemon biology stuff, you know? Yeah. And I, I have yeah. watched, there's a couple, couple Poketubers that, uh, I know personally that I've worked with, uh, Professor Wormwood was is somebody who does that who does um like pokemon research stuff uh he mm -hmm. was cool trainer gavin back in the day and i and then he he opened up a new channel called pallet university yeah um his stuff was really cool um that they did so i, I really like watching the uh, pokemon science stuff yeah yeah you know, because I, you know, I was, we, me and Professor Wormwood did a project where, um, we said, you know, if, if every state was a Pokemon region, then what Pokemon would live in that region? Yeah, true, and yeah. We did, like, a whole breakdown, and then what kind of regional variants would it have? And I think that we came up with, um, 
like the uh, Florida would have its own ver version of like a Gyarados, and yeah. uh, you know, subsequently, you know, I think that that regional Gyarados might be locked to like a Florida, Louisiana, Mississippi type thing for like the swampy yeah. area. But um, you know, we we had the Florida Gyarados that we put out there in Florida Magic Carp, and then um, there was a few other ones that we came up with. And then had like mm -hmm. most of like the fighting Pokemon would be here because in Florida you have the uh, the big WWE Performance Center here, so you'd have quite oh, a bit yeah, of yeah. like oh and like we have a big MMA thing too here, so we'd have like um, a lot of fighting types here too. Mm. Um, what yeah, else? Obviously, a, obviously a ton of like uh, coastal Pokemon. So it uh it was fun stuff, man. It was fun stuff. Yeah, I'd, no, it sounds really cool. I'd like to see if. Uh, he, he finished that project with some other people where uh, mm. all the states are their own region and what the what that entails. All right, we got that done. Crydon got... Oh, Fly, we got Glide right there. We got some Glide, yeah. So I technically could go and get Fly. Well, no, actually, no. I would not be in a position to be able to get Fly right now. Oh, yeah, that, that's a lot to... Yep, Okay. All right, are you ready to throw down? I am ready to throw down. All right, no, let's... Well, I mean, I'm, I'm not, but let's let's go for it. <laughs> we, we're going to try. Phantom's going to try to pick up a win here. Link battle. Link battle. Single battle. Search. Oh, man. That was fast. I'm so glad they switched it to six digits, or eight digits, because, mm. goodness, when they had the four-digit codes, you could not find your friends for nothing. No, no. Yeah, the amount of times that I've been trying to trade and stuff, and like random people are also using that code, and it's just like, ah, stop. Yep. Um, who was it? When we did the, uh, I was a part of a four-way cage lock, which was crazy, by the way, because we had me and one guy run Eastern Standard Time. We had one yeah. guy from the UK, and we had one guy from California. So, yeah. you know, five hours ahead of us, and then he was four hours behind us. So, mm. that was a, a challenge. Oh, God. This is scary. Um... Oh god, this is such a difficult decision. <laughs> mm -hmm. uh, I think that's I think that's that's the team. I think that's 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 not the team I want, but that's the team I've got. <laughs> you're not the team I want, but you're the team I got. Yep, yeah, that's um I can't see a, a really solid matchup here. We're risking it all. I'm coming at you. We'll see. We'll see how this goes. Thunderbird. Interesting. Nice. Uh, Tinky Ton was a uh, was an ad from a request, and uh, they gave me all the types and everything to pick for this thing. Right. Um, okay. So, I uh, I did not expect Tinky Tuff to be as strong. I'm really disappointed. I really wish the stats in this thing was a lot better. 
Hmm. Yeah, it's got... For the Pokemon it is, it's a bit lackluster. Mm -hmm. Okay, okay. Uh, oh, no, I don't want to do that. Now, you've probably got an elemental punch here somewhere. Okay, okay. Come on, better be one. One of them. Come on. Yeah, gave me the right one. Good. Oh. Uh. Um. Switch. Safest move is go for that one. Oh, okay, okay. I see you, I see you. And the normal gem yet again. <laughs> that's right, that's right. Oh, that was close. Oh, wow. Oh, oh, come on. <laughs> what? Oh, oh my God. Come wow. On. Wow. Man, oh man. You're probably four out turn one, though. Mm -mm. <sighs> yep. Oh my God. Pokemon. I'm so sorry. Nope, nope. Is what it is. Oh, uh, my goodness. That was wild. That was absolutely wild. Well, we're in uh, in some trouble here, squad. Uh, am I willing to let you go? Yeah. Oh wow, you're faster. That is absolutely crazy, actually. That is that is insane. <laughs> to be fair, I think I might have been HP invested. Um. Yeah, let's do this. Oh, Clyde. Good old Clyde. Um. Oh, wow. Damn. Wow, okay, okay. <laughs> Damn. Going for the Okos. Am I, uh... Hmm. Oh, yes. Oh, wow. Wow, okay. Okay. Oh, that's awesome. I, sh I wish I wouldn't have dropped my, my speed, though. My Clyde is gone. And now, I wonder how this is going to play out. Um... Nope, it. Okay. All right, I think we. Oh, God. <laughs> this is not good. This is very, very bad. I think you win. Uh, hmm. 
Hmm. Let's see. It's, uh, we getting into the action here. I need to be, I need to be sure that I, that I hit you and knock you out in one hit because I can't be wasting recoils on that Rocky helmet. Mmm, true. That, that Fisher knockout was crazy. That was, that was absolutely insane. I just have to make sure oh, I'm faster. There, nice. Just have to make sure I'm faster. I think it's time now. Shame that I let Pre Marine to go down. I couldn't believe I was faster. Yeah, and no, I was shocked by <laughs> that as well. I don't actually know what Groudon speeds that is. Um, I, and I don't think I maxed out his speed either. Even though I should have because of Fisher. Wow, that does absolutely nothing. <laughs> Oh, oh wow. wow! Okay, okay. What is my luck? <laughs> that, that, that luck is is wrong. Uh, that is that is bad luck. All my shiny luck is gone. Yeah, <laughs> they used it all up on the shinies. That's what it was. Jeez. Is that gonna take all me right, out? GG. Yeah. GG. GG on that man, one. Man, oh man! That was something. That, that was, was something. That was Clyde is better. gone. <laughs> Finally, oh, Clyde is gone. Prim yes. Arena oh. is a threat too. That was that's three threats, man. You had three real threats. Lance is a super threat. Bertha, we know how you know if uh, if that Pokemon would have been better. You know what I mean? Like stat wise, it'd have been fine. But yeah. losing Lance really sucks, and I cannot believe that freeze, man. Crazy. Yeah, no, that was unfortunate. That really was unfortunate. To right be fair, on. if it if it didn't freeze, I would have switched into Starmory to take the hit. Oh yeah, and let you go down to Rocky Helmet. Yep, nope, that'd have been a, that would have been definitely the best call. Yeah, um, we've lost we lost three mons there. Oh no, I'm not putting you back in the team. Gold for the win. Gold team rules. For those of you that don't worry, know. gold gold will gold will be gone soon enough. Good, good. I hope I hope you got somebody for gold. I've got plenty for gold. Good, good, good. I've good. got several ones. That um. Probably, okay. Well, our Raptors take him out. <laughs> there we go. There we go. Our next episode, we're taking on the Psychic Gym Leader over on Midnight's channel. Uh, so me and Midnight might have to do a little bit of grinding to get ready for her. Her highest yeah. Pokemon is level forty-five. I know that we're a little. We're there. I got a couple more Pokemon that I need to level up, uh, especially here. So. Me and Midnight might take a little grindy break again. Um, yeah. But with that being said, everybody, I have been the Phantom Michael. We're going to get the heck out of here. We'll see you guys in the next one. See you soon.